Hey guys, so Thanksgiving is upon us. It's just a few short weeks away. And if you're still planning your menu and looking for an elegant hors d'oeuvre, I've got a great one for you. It's my goat cheese tartlets with sweet onion jam. I love this appetizer because it's easy to make, it's inexpensive, and it looks so elegant. And part of the way that it looks so fancy is because of the help of a mini muffin tin. If you don't already have one, I definitely encourage you to pick one up. They're a great investment that you can use for all kinds of great appetizers. They're not just for muffins. One of the fun things that I love to do with them is fill them with puff pastry and make little tartlets. So here's what you do. You're gonna slice a sweet yellow onion, one red onion, and saute that up just until they become fragrant and soft. Then you're gonna add a little balsamic vinegar and cook that down just until the vinegar is all evaporated. Then you're gonna add about a tablespoon of honey and some freshly chopped rosemary. At this point, you can also season with salt and pepper just to taste. You're gonna set that aside and then take your puff pastry. Now you wanna use one of those ring biscuit cutters, about three inches. At first it's gonna look a little bit large, but you actually want it a little bit bigger than the muffin tin itself. That way you'll create a wonderful crust around your tartlet. Then you're gonna take some crumbled goat cheese. You can find it easily in your grocery store right near the regular goat cheese, but if for some reason they don't have it, you could just take a regular log of goat cheese and mash it up with a fork. You're gonna fill each tartlet with about a half a teaspoon of cheese and then top with the onion jam. If you weren't gonna serve this appetizer right away, they freeze beautifully. So all you would do is just cover your tin with foil and pop it in the freezer until you're ready to go. Or if you're gonna make them the day before, just put them in your fridge. And then as your guests arrive, pop them in the oven and then you will be able to treat them to the most delicious warm hors d'oeuvre. Then you're gonna bake your tartlets at 400 degrees for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, just until the puff pastry is golden brown and the cheese starts to melt. Now. When they are done, one word of caution, <laughs> the cheese will melt and get very, very hot. So you really want to let those tartlets rest for about five minutes before serving them to anybody. I would also recommend offering each guest a cocktail napkin because sometimes when they bite into these, they can be a little messy and it's good to have the backup. So there you have it, my goat cheese tartlets, an easy, elegant hors d'oeuvre that also isn't going to break the bank. I hope you guys give this one a try. You will see, your guests will totally love them and they will disappear in minutes. And I'll see you back here next week for my delicious s'more pie. It's a great alternative to the predictable Thanksgiving pies and one that you won't wanna miss, I promise. It's delicious. I'll see you then.